With the ongoing global economic crisis seriously affecting Antigua and Barbuda, the focus was on plans to put the nation's economy on a sustainable path. The Enterprise Achievement Challenge places successful applicants with skill-based enterprises to prepare them to undertake sustainable self-employment. The Government's Employment and Training Opportunities Program is yet another initiative to build workforce capacity through life skills training, retraining and competency certification. The Government's next step will see further boosting of economic activity, the main outcome of which focuses on the imperative to continue to generate employment. The Human Entrepreneurship and Assistive Resource Technologies Project HEART will provide a comprehensive ICT platform for any person with any challenge. Speaking immediately after the throne speech, the nation's leader, Dr. The Honorable Baldwin Spencer, says he looks forward to implementing his government's five-year growth and development plan. Contents of that throne speech clearly establishes a vision that this administration has for Antigua and Barbuda, which speaks to progress, which speaks to opportunity, which speaks to our being able to really move Antigua and Barbuda forward and upwards. So I am pleased with the presentation. I am pleased with the, the various areas that have been highlighted for attention in 2014 and um, beyond. And, and so we're looking forward now for being able to effectively put in place uh, most of the things that have been outlined. But the opposition leader, the Honorable Gaston Brown, says he's not impressed with plans for the future. And today, Antigua and Barbuda is just a very difficult country, a land of misery. Uh, in terms of national security too, I mean, I would say that some gains have been made there, but there's still significant work to be done. And you can be sure that fundamentally we have a governance failure in this country and we need change and change is coming to Antigua and Barbuda this year. Trace Lynn Cornelius Hernandez, ABS News.